But once you've taken your image, you often want to analyze it on a different software package, your image analysis software. Here at Thermo Fisher Scientific, we sell our Celeste software, for instance. But there's others out there, like ImageJ or Fiji or various commercial ones that you can use. And there are some certain characteristics that you need to keep in mind when considering optimized publishable images. Here I've pulled up a three color image where I've taken each of three colors, blue, green, and red, in monochrome 16-bit images. And I recolorize it using the merge feature here. Here you can see in the lower right the colored version of that with all three colors. But there are some things that you can change and maybe not in a good way. For instance, on the upper part of this image in the red block, you can see that I can adjust the brightness, the contrast, and the gamma. Now, it's okay to do that in some circumstances. Maybe you want to bring out certain features that you want the reader of your paper to focus on, and that's fine. Just realize that you're changing that picture in ways that may not be ethical, so you have to make any changes very judiciously, and I'll talk in a minute about the ethics of imaging. Now, once you've taken your image, how do you measure it, right? A publishable image isn't just about its appearance, it's also about the data that you get out of it. How do you measure that data? Well, here using our Celeste software is an image of some, two, some uh, 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 actin-labeled cells using a phalloidin. Well, one way to get the data is using a region of interest. And here you can see some regions I've drawn around some areas that represent bright signal versus a background. On the left there, you can see a circle. That's the background that I'm comparing against. And all those other regions I'm measuring the average intensity of to get a value that I can compare between samples. Now, for a sample like this one, a region may not make the best entry, may not be the best choice because Obviously, I'm missing a lot of label there by using a region of interest. And so instead, I might use a different way to measure using a thresholding technique. Thresholding is where you take your image and you adjust uh, so that you measure over or under a certain intensity. So here, I'm thresholding in blue uh, those areas that are colored, and I'm adjusting the thresholding. Now here, you can see the blue does not encompass all the specific areas, so now I want to threshold a bit more. And that seems to be pretty good there. Now, if you compare from before, you can see that there's some areas that maybe is covered that I don't want to be covered, and a few areas that I'm missing. But if I go too high, now I'm going to start measuring background and black areas and non-specific signal that I probably don't want to measure. Now, one interesting feature about Celeste is that it has a smart thresholding method, and you can actually teach the system what's specific and what's not. So in the pale blue here, you can see the actin is very nicely selected and none of the background. That's a neat feature of Celeste. Now, I won't go into all the features of Celeste software here, but I urge you to learn more at our website. There's a lot of great function in that software package including like 3D re uh, reconstruction or um, all sorts of different segmentation techniques and counting. So if you want to count cells in an automated fashion.